Let's move on now. On day two of his Bengal visit, Prime Minister Modi was seen exploring his spiritual side. The Prime Minister was seen offering prayers at Dakshineshwar Temple in Kolkata. The next stopover was Belur Mat, the headquarters of Ramakrishna Mat and Ramakrishna Mission. He was greeted by the priests at the temple to guide him through the Mat. And these are some fresh visuals that we're getting from Belur Mat uh, with the Prime Minister walking there at the mud. Now post uh, this Modi is scheduled to leave for Bardwan district where he will be inaugurating the sale steel plant. He is likely to address a rally later in the evening. Manogya Loewal is now joining us with more details. Manogya first to the Dakshineshwar Kali temple now to the Belur Mat. He'll also be visiting we understand the room of uh, Swami Vivekanand opened specially on his request is what we understand. Well, absolutely. He did sit there for a while. He told that he also meditated for a few minutes and okay. thereafter he's been walking in the premises of Belur Mat, trying to explore each and every part of it. And with that also walking along the Mughli River and also with that he has been gifted a shawl by the authorities here. So he entered the temple in the normal kurta and pajama that he wears that has been his style statement. But then he came out with the shawl also. So he's been gifted by the authorities. And perhaps one of those spiritual connect moments for... Uh, Narendra Modi where we have seen him not only offering prayers but also meditating and trying to explore his spiritual side for a while. Also Manogya, if we talk uh, on the political side of this whole tour, what kind of an equation uh, has the chief minister of the state been sharing with Narendra Modi because we know that earlier it has been quite an uncomfortable equation between the two. Well, there has been a lot of tussle, the political battle that we've seen between the two political parties, BJP and Trinamool Congress. But as far as the work of development is concerned, both seems to have set aside the differences for a while. And that's the reason why we've seen them sitting together, talking it out and also discussing the matters of the state. Now, with this, we've also been told that it is not just about the matter of the state that was uh, required. And they discussed the several matters around 8 to 8.30 yesterday in Raj Bhavan. But today is a different day. And with that, they have... Uh, Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee will be reaching Barnapur Asansol directly. Hmm. But uh, he is the Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Belur Mart spending some time and also exploring his spiritual side. All right, Manogya, do stay on with us. And as you were pointing out, uh, the last stop in Modi's uh, visit is Bardhwan District's Barnpur, where he will inaugurate the 18,000 crore rupees modernized Indian Iron and Steel Company plant. The West Bengal Chief Minister is scheduled to meet the Prime Minister again in Burnpur during the inauguration of IISCO plant. The Prime Minister will also hold a rally in, in Asansol. West Bengal is slated to hold assembly polls next year and the BJP hopes to pitch itself as a major player in the state. Manogya, what kind of inroads has the BJP, BJP been able to make in West Bengal so far? All right, we seem to have lost our link there with Manogya. In fact, uh, as she was pointing out that at the moment, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Belur Mutt and he is going around the premises uh, of the Mutt.